last week. We had cuties. Amazing. Beauties. Phenomenal. Inflatable booties. Absolutely awesome. And gravity defying stunts. I love it. <laughs> Anthony Cotton toe tapped his way into the winner's enclosure. And comedian Catherine Ryan was the judge's choice. Tonight. Only two acts can board the boogie bus to next week's final. Who'll join a Fab Four? Let's dance! of dignity. Yes, come and be seduced by the dark side of dance. And along the way, we've got music from two global superstars oh, yeah. with an exclusive performance of a brand new single. Nicole Scherzinger is here. Yeah. That's what I said. That's yeah, what I there said. she is, backstage in our exclusive Shenanigans bar. She loves a pint, she doesn't she? Do. She loves a pint. Also, someone who is quite simply a global megastar and my personal style icon. Justin Bieber will be here. <laughs> his album on the shenanigans jukebox. It's not there, Biebs. Chaz and Dave, yes. Justin Bieber, no. No. <laughs> now, we do have a bit of bad news for you tonight. Oh, the Duff Man. I know. The Duff Man. Unfortunately, due to unforeseen circumstances, Keith Duffy, of Boys Own Fame, he can't dance this, 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 evening, e this, evening. this evening. But every cloud has a silver lining, especially if you're our shenanigans oh, landlady. No. Yes, Jodie Pranger. Here's who's dancing tonight. Tonight on Let's Dance for Comic Relief. Stepping back in time, TV presenters Aurea Duda and Sonali Shah. The dance is fast, risque, no, oh no. and sweaty. Yeah. Hoping to light up the dance floor, West End star Jodie Pranger. I'm so scared, I'm confident. Yeah. I'm, I'm down with the kids. <laughs> Monkeying around on stage, ventriloquist Nina Conti. It's just going to be great fun. Public humiliation. Wow. He's the bad boy that's turning highbrow. It's Lee Nelson. I feel like a massive monkey in it, but like everything I go for, I'm going to come out the other side like a legend. Yes! Oh! And flying high, it's Vanessa Phelps. There are all sorts of bits that are uh, involving heavy machinery being winched from a great high. I'm absolutely terrified. Let's do this. Yes, we're well, all oh. absolutely <laughs> terrified. Now, to give the impression that this is, in fact, a proper competition and not the manic twitchings of the physically inept, we need proper judges. And finally, we've got one. One out of three. Not bad, not bad. Please welcome the dancing queen herself, Arlene Phillips, comedian Lee Mack, and from Radio One, it's Greg James. <laughs> Two places left to fill in next week's final, and your votes will decide one of them. You can vote for your favourite by phone or using the internet. Get yourself over to bbc.co.uk forward slash Red Nose Day to register and have a look. The other finalists will be chosen by our esteemed panel, all of whom have danced in the West End. Arlene on the stage, the other two, I don't know, probably outside some kind of kebab shop at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Alex, over to you. 
Well, I thought Cotton Eye Joe was quite good, I must say. Well done on that. Well, Arlene, we know you're going to be great. Greg, very excited to be here. Don't... Excited to be here. Very good. Amazing. But you, you know what? You're in good hands because Lee and Arlene have both done this before. Now, Lee, we know you're sort of the head judge here because you know this so news. much about dance. I'm the, I'm the king. I know all about The two things I'm looking for, one, they don't fall over and they don't do that thing I do when I'm dancing where the music stops and they go, will you sleep with me? And then everyone hears you. As long as they don't do that, the winners in mind. <laughs> you never know. We've got some ladies here tonight. You don't, you don't know. Okay, uh, let's let's chin wagon more booty swag in. Let's drop the D bomb, Al. I don't even know what that means. It's but yes, let's do it. Uh, time for our first twirling celebrities. They're highly respected journalists working in world news, children's TV, and sport. But they, are they about to be part of the news for all the wrong reasons? It's Oreo Dubey and Sonali Shah. I'm Ori. I'm Sonali, and we're TV presenters who first met on Newsround. And now, I can't live without her. That sounds a bit creepy. It does, isn't it? <laughs> John Craven, the godfather of Newsround. JC? Morning, Sonali. Now, listen carefully, you two, because I am here to inform you that you have yet to fulfil an outstanding term in your BBC news presenter's contracts. At some point in their careers, television news presenters have to dance on national television. <laughs> we can't dance. None of this makes any sense to me. I know it doesn't make any sense, Sonali, but neither does this. Is that you? Yes, Ori, it is me. We all have to do our bit. Now, Let's Dance is coming up, and I've booked you in. Whoop! Hold on! <laughs> you, you've got to be joking. Me, with her, dancing. Hang on a minute. You can't just come in here and spring right. on us. I mean, the dash. Say, <laughs> Good morning. You're listening to BBC Radio 1. It's 7.30 a.m. Mm. and now time for the news. The government today issued a statement... Sonny, I had the weirdest dream last night. In the yeah, East me East. too. And in other news, it was announced this morning that Olya Duba and Snarly Shah are the latest celebrities to be confirmed for Let's Dance for Comic Relief. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Braithwaite. Do not adjust your sets. This is the voice of the BBC, with the latest jumping and driving sensation for all you have cats. Dancing to outcasts, hey ya, it's Ore and Smiley.
very solid start. Very good. How do you think it went for you? I feel like I've eaten about seven sticks of chalk. <gasps> Can't breathe. We're good. We're good. A little bit too much thrusting for him. Yeah. Yeah. Too much thrusting. No, it was good. We felt good. What happened there? Uh, well, I got too caught up with one of my girls. Uh, but I'll speak to her. You were later. cheating yeah, on I'm me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. You covered it well. I didn't even see it. Okay, panel. We'll come to you firstly. I have seen uh, braces worn sexily in the past, but <laughs> never that way. Not, not since the early days of Cannon and Ball, as a man <laughs> suggested sex and braces at the same time. And well done to the producers of the show for not telling your backing dancers, those blokes, how much pillocks they'd look like to the last minute, because then they wouldn't back out, which I thought was a great move. You strung them along perfectly, <laughs> didn't really. No, great helmet work, I thought they did. <laughs> <laughs> Arlene, does somebody who knows what she's on about? No, seriously. That was good. I mean, good. You look a bit like dancing jelly beans. However, oh. I tell you, you are like the Mary Berry Paul Hollywood of dance. Yes. You oh. just oh. have it. You oh. are rising. With complete goatee beard as well, Arlene. It's gorgeous. It's, it's the Paul look. That's what reminded me. I'll be Mary Berry any day. And <laughs> you were too. baking it, I'm telling you. No Excellent. soggy bottoms there. <laughs> <laughs> no, no soggy bottoms. Greg, this is your judging debut. Go on, go well, for it. Well, I mean, I've got I'm not, nothing to compare it against, but my first dance, that was a, that was a delight. I think, I think the real outcast, we sat at home depressed, because you're better than them. Yeah. I, really, I do think so. Yeah. But, but what I would say is that I thought, I thought you were supposed to be a bit rubbish. I actually think it was probably too good. Oh. Did, didn't you feel that Andre 2000 was in the room? Um, he well, came in one very quickly, Greg. You missed him. He was <laughs> here. <laughs> and, and also, uh, we, were we were loving the clapping, but when you, when you have to stop and do a hey ya, uh, it stops clapping, so you've got to think about that for yeah, the future. You have. But oh, I'd brilliant. say pretty good. Pretty good. Excellent, excellent. Steve? You've got some friends and family over there. What do they think? More than that, Al, I'm joined by greatness. And I'm not talking about Sam and Mark, even though they are great. Even though they are great. But this man is an Olympic medal winner. And he wants to be from Danza. Lewis Smith, good to see you, sir. Um, you're more than qualified to tell us. Was that any good? I thought it was brilliant. Great entertainment. <laughs> They, uh, they had swagger, you know, they really controlled the dance hall, the characters, you know, it, it was just brilliant, it was good fun. Do you think if they were in the same series of Strictly Come Dancing as you, you would have lost to them? I reckon it would have been a close contest, that's <laughs> <what I'm laughs> Gentlemen to the last. By the way, you must still be annoyed about the, the Hungarian who took the gold where you should have had the gold because you have the same amount of points! You said it, not me. <laughs> we're all thinking it! We're all thinking it! <laughs> well, not... Sam, Mark... You're a very successful duo. Did they exhibit those qualities? You know, the qualities that you two have together, that raw sexual yeah. magnetism. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, as much as we'd like to have that sexual magnetism, that, that was just, oh, that it's was amazing. on another scale. I've really never was. seen Ora move that well in my life. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. I couldn't tell the difference between the backing dancers and the celebrities. I thought they were awesome. Well, well, really good. Yeah. Nice yeah. Yeah. Alex, friends and family are sold over here. Back to you. Yeah. So, if Aura and Sonali were big news for you, then vote them through to the final by calling 090 11 98 10 01 or sign in and vote for free online at bbc.co.uk slash Red Nose Day. The votes will open after all our acts have danced, so please don't call before that because it won't count. Everybody, Aura and Sonali, what a great start. <laughs> So this week, everything went a bit topsy-turvy at Let's Dance Towers as we lost one of our acts. So we called up our shenanigans landlady to make her dancing dreams come true. But I think Jodie Prenger got the wrong end of the stick. Hiya, I'm Jodie Prenger and I am a jazz hand star. Oh! Since triumphing on Andrew Lloyd Webber's I Do Anything, I've become a star of stage and screen. Yeah, I can't do Thursday, no, definitely. Um, I've got rehearsals all day. Obviously, there's no shortage of male admirers. But up until last week, I'd been reluctant to commit. I mean, why pick one banana when you can have the whole bunch? My agent says Steve Jones had been in touch, asking me out to dance. He's so thrilled. I've always wanted to get out from behind the bar and dance on the show. But this is even better. I'm going on a date with the Welsh dragon, Steve Jones. I love you. 
He's asked me to meet him at the BBC. I can't wait. This is it, Steve. You and me together at last. Jodie, you made it. Let me show you to your dressing room. Thank you so much for stepping in the last minute. We are really excited about having you dance on the show. The show? Oh, I thought I was going dancing with Steve. On a date. Anyway, your costume's in here, your hair and makeup's next door. You're on in 15 minutes, and remember, it's for charity, so get out there and enjoy yourself. All right. <laughs> yeah, she did. Take it from me, Jodie. He's not worth it. Definitely not worth it. Dancing to 80s classic, Word Up by Cameo. Please welcome Jodie Prenger. The wait. Oh. That was extraordinary. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> I don't know. Let's find out if the judges enjoyed it. Arlene, what are you thinking? Oh, I was reliving the 80s, all those hip thrusts and buggy moves. And I have to tell you, Jody, I have seen a thousand and one dances, but none sexier than you in your cod piece. Oh, yeah. Ah. Sexier than most in a moustache. That's incredible. Greg, what are you thinking, sir? You know what? I, I wore this and you didn't come anywhere near me. I'm so sorry. I was waiting for a thrust or anything. <laughs> no, because, because she's a guy. The, the amazing thing is that mine does that without having a light on it. Does it really? Yeah. So we could have done all that together, but it's, I wasted You probably it. should see a doctor, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you know what? That was that was incredible. Oh, uh, thank you. Uh, that was, well, <laughs> thank you. Can we make it a clean sweep? Lee Mack, what do you think of that? Can I can I just check something? You know you know when the BBC continuity announcer says when you press the red button you get a little extra. <laughs> Does that apply to tonight as well? Or? I think it does actually. Now, I can honestly say on behalf of myself and Pete Sampras that that was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> thank you. Congrats. Thank fabulous. You. Fabulous. So. If you want to take Jody out of shenanigans and into the final, then call 09011 981002 or vote online at bbc.co.uk forward slash red nose day. But remember, no voting until we tell you because your vote won't count. Ladies and gentlemen, the wonderful Jody Prenger. Thank you. Thank you. Wasn't she brilliant? Well, Oren Sinali and of course Jodie have already done their business, but still to come, more incredible routines. Two global music stars and Vanessa Fels in Fishnets. Intrigued? Well, here's what you can expect.
Yeah. Lee Nelson goes from bad boy to ballet boy. Getting this, this is happening. Vanessa felt like you've never, ever seen her before. I'm feeling it. I'm certainly feeling the emotion. And get ready to scream. We've got performances from mega stars Justin Bieber and Nicole Scherzinger. So don't forget, everyone is here to raise money for Comic Relief, and it's never been easier to donate. All you have to do is text the word YES to 7005, and you're donating five juicy pounds. Yes, just three letters could make a huge difference. Y-E-S, just in case. Yes. Text costs five pounds, plus your standard network message charge, and the whole five pounds will go to Comic Relief. You must be 16 or over, and please ask the bill payers' permission for full terms and conditions and more information. Go to bbc.co.uk slash day. Thank you very much. Now, philosophers often say that if you give an infinite amount of monkeys enough time, they would reproduce the entire works of Shakespeare. However, our next act has just one monkey and two minutes on stage to impress. It's ventriloquist <laughs> and stand-up Nina Conti. Ridiculous. Hello, I'm Nina Conti. She's a ventriloquist. Yes. Not a dancer. No. <laughs> oh. Ash, classic. <laughs> Monkey, what did you do that for? I've got something to tell you. What, you've been seeing another pocket? No. <laughs> No. I'm going to do Let's Dance for Comic Relief. That's fantastic. It's good, right? You're happy. I love it. I can't wait to dance. What shall we do? The tango? <laughs> See, this is the problem, monkey. You can't actually dance. I can't actually talk either, and that's never been a problem. <laughs> yeah, but dancing's harder. I can't actually put my fingers into your limbs. Who needs limbs and you can head move? What do you mean? Check it. <laughs> what? Monkey, but oh, I'm not even gonna be in it. Not even on your arm. Well, uh, how? You'll just fly off. You know, what am I gonna dance like this? Stop it. Exactly. I'm sorry. It's not you, it's me. This is a travesty. An injustice. Here we go. I'm gonna call my monkey mate your monkey mate. I've monkey mate. And they're sitting by the phone waiting for the call to arms. They'll get me on the show. Well, good luck with that. Listen, you can come, you know, we'll have a lovely seat in the studio for you and you can come to the after party. You can stick your after party where your hand is. This discussion is over, okay? And then sleep. He's <laughs> answer. Stage where Nina Conti looks primed and ready for action. Let's have a quick word. Uh, Nina, oh. sorry to bother you, but I'm just so happy you managed to get rid of that monkey for this. Yeah, yeah, my hand feels um, weird without him. Loose, free, which is what you should be. Freedom. Go out there and be on your own and enjoy it, okay? It's liberating, good, yes, good thank you. you. Good luck, good luck. I can exclusively reveal the monkey is here. This could be interesting. She likes to move it, move it. She likes to move it. It's Nina Conti! <laughs> I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. Yeah, I like to move it. Eyebrow. When you piss up the phone, my dog, lock your eyebrow. When you piss up the phone, my dog, gun your eyebrow. When you piss up the phone, my dog, gun your eyebrow. When you piss up the phone, my dog, gun your eyebrow. When you piss up
your lipstick When you fix a big mom, but I'm on your nice work face When your nice hips, you make one flip and bust them lips Women, they're nice and you don't get deep Put your body into the big tight headache I like them more with more with He like them more with more with She like them more with more with You like them more They like them more with more with You like them more with more with I like them more with more with I like them more with more with I like Monkeying around and come and join me. Well, uh, <laughs> this is the best thing ever. Scoochin, come over here. How do you feel that went? Uh, yeah, uh, not as planned. I mean, the monkey just uh, sabotaged it. Yeah. yeah. Yet again, and this yeah. monkey's in the house too. Greg, this is just wonderful, yes? Uh, yes, yeah, so, so I think that was the best show we've had tonight so far. And I think, Steve, you would agree, I know you would, that if that and those four girls were at Colchester Zoo, we'd be there most weeks, I feel like. <laughs> Every day of the week. That's, that's, what it, that's what that place needs. It's a very good zoo, but it could be better with those costumes. So a big thumbs up, yes? Um, all my thumbs up. Thank you. Lee Mack. I've, I've, I've always been a massive fan of, uh, of Nina anyway, but now, I mean, she's up there with all the great dancers for me, like Matthew Corbett, Keith Harris and Rod Hall. <laughs> and Matthew Corbett, there's a reference point for the kids. So, um, yeah, brilliant. And I'm absolutely genuinely fascinated by that costume now. Oh, thank you, yes. Yeah. It's you... extraordinary, but it weighs a ton. Is it heavy? Yes, quite heavy. Yeah. Yeah, no, he was talking to the ape. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, Helene, what are you thinking? Well, I was not prepared to love Nina because she did abandon Monkey. And that was harsh, I'm sorry. Glad Monkey's returned. <laughs> However, I have to crown you Queen of the Jungle because that was hot, Nina. <laughs> hot, hot, hot. Let's go across to Nina's friends and family. Alex, what's going on? Well, I can do better than a gorilla because I am with the fox that puts show in show business, Mr. Basil Brush. Oh, Wait. Thank nice you. to see you, Basil. Uh, nice to see you too. Great to be here. Sorry? Great to be here. Oh, good, yeah. yeah. We, we, we're really pleased to have you. Now, you're, you're here to support Monk, of course. Oh, yes, of course, and I loved it. A little bit of monkey business goes a long way, you know. And what they say is, never work with children or animals if you don't want to be upset. Isn't that right, Monkey? Yeah, never work with children or animals, buddy. <laughs> you don't want to be upset. Look at that brilliant ventriculism. It's ever so easy, you know. Look, my lips never moves. I thought neither was absolutely brilliant. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Who do you think, then, are the better dancers, monkeys or foxes? Foxes. Monkeys. Foxes. Monkeys. <laughs> Who pays the rent? Foxes. There you go. <laughs> so, was that performance worthy of a bum-bum? It's not just worthy of a bum-bum. We've written her a special little poem. It goes go like this. There was a young dancer called Nina, whose footwork could not become cleaner. She spun right across the floor, and she went straight out the door, and that's the last time that anyone's seen her. Boom-boom! <laughs> Fabulous. If you went bananas for Nina's performance, then call 09011981003 or use those very same fingers to type the following into your computer. bbc.co.uk forward slash red nose day. Don't vote until later or it just won't count. And where's the fun in that? Ladies and gentlemen, Nina Conti. Thank you. This big Hello, how are you? Now, our next act knows exactly what to expect because he's done it all before. Didn't he learn his lesson the first time round? It seems he's a glutton for punishment. Back with a vengeance. It's Lee Nelson. My name's Lee Nelson and dancing has changed my life. <laughs> I've done less dance for Comet Relief back in 2011. And since then, I ain't been allowed back on my estate. I've actually got a lot fitter since, mainly because in the summer of 2011, I was chased by a lot of coppers in London, Manchester and Birmingham. Thank you, boys. <laughs> Learning to dance here has just been an incredible journey. I've had to get three buses in every morning from South London. Obviously, I'd love people to support me and help me get through to that final. Now, I ain't looking for no sympathy vote or nothing, but last weekend, 
all my family and friends died. Foot or mouth or something, can it? I can't believe they've gone. I'm gonna be some sort of one. <laughs> Especially my man. We used to go to the pool together, innit? <laughs> man! I just told everyone you was dead so they'd vote for me. I said, wait in the car. You've got your leg warmers, puppet. Ah, oh, don't worry, Nan. I shoved some socks down there, innit? <laughs> Legend! Awesome. Can he really cut it as a ballet boy with a special performance featuring Twist and Pulse? Please welcome Lee Nelson. The basement is empty, boys. No one is gonna see us. Whack on the tune, yeah? Tune, innit? Yes. Try and win over the panel before you've had the comments. Sorry, so sweetie, but I'll start of winning you over, innit? <laughs> That's not going to happen. Um, so, did you prefer the ballet bit or the hip hoppy bit? Oh man, I loved them both. That was a proper laugh. Been training for this long time. Last two weeks, been eating so much horse meat. <laughs> well, it served you well, Lee. It served you well. Okay, Lee, coming to you for. So well, many different styles there, wasn't there? There was, and, I, and you said earlier that you, uh, you know, you used some socks to help you there, but I don't know who you, who's your borrowed, but I'd give them back quick, because somewhere out there there's an action man missing his socks. <laughs> but, um... Show us yours, <laughs> Lee. <laughs> no, I thought that was great. I think, I genuinely think Lee is the Cristian, Cristiano Ronaldo of dancing. Oh, and what I mean, you, no, what I mean by that is you'll use any excuse to get your top off and show off. <laughs> but, no, I thought it was brilliant and uh, definitely in my top four so far. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> 
Kelly, now you'll appreciate really? the whole ballet okay. and then going into hip hop. Now let's go bow down. I'm sorry. First of all, your ballet was amazing. The pas de berets, the pose turns, the pie charts, you had it all there. And the arms is what every male dancer dreams of. Strength and soft. You had it all. You nailed it. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Let's talk about Dancing Twist and Pulse with that hip hop. Twist the and Pulse. Massive I mean, legends, right? Yeah, we must legends. say thank you to Twist and Pulse. They were so good. Over, over. You have come out. You have it all. Oh, You're the baby. freezes. And you, most ballet dancers cannot get down and dirty. Boy, you, you get did. down and dirty. And I'm telling you, I want you in my spare bedroom doing ballet and hip hop every day. Oh my yes. gosh. Thank you, Arlene. And Greg, very quickly to you. What, what, what can I say when Arlene wants to get off of you? That's amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is, is it a yes? Do you it's want to get off of it? getting a little bit bigger, No, no, no. I just, no. <laughs> no. just want no. to uh, Steve, oh, we're going to go to you. <laughs> And not too soon, Alex, there was no way I was going to miss an opportunity to add Basil Brush to my yeah. list of interview scouts. Ah, thank you. Thank you very much. Basil, Matthew. what a pleasure to meet you, sir. Yes. Um, what does the quintessential gentleman think of that modern adaptation of Swan Lake? Ah. I've got to say, in his tights, he's near enough to Nuria for anybody, and I have to say, Lee Nelson is ripped. <laughs> Absolutely. But I'm a modern fox, you know, I like to get down with all the boys and girls. Yo, brother, into the garage where my car is parked. Down the cul de sac, yeah, man. And I love hip hop because me nan had one, and now she walks much better. <laughs> okay. So, you, me. brother, Gita Kaze, it's orange, man. Thank you. Thank you, Basil Brush. You go, Alex, we realise, back to you. Well, there we are. Basil loves it, see? And if you at home want to resuscitate Lee's dying swan in the final, then call 090 1010 or you can vote online at bbc.co.uk forward slash Red Nose Day. Don't vote until all the acts have performed, though, because your vote won't count. For now, let's hear it for Lee Nelson. <laughs> Our next act this evening is best known for her work on Radio 2, but tonight she's stepping into vision. Oh my, is she stepping into vision. Prepare yourself for Vanessa Feltz. I'm Vanessa Feltz, journalist, broadcaster, and brand new mother-in-law. Track there by Bobby Brown. Now, as many of you know, I'm going to be dancing in Let's Dance for Comic Relief on Saturday. But my question is, which pop star am I going to be dancing as? I've been told we look extremely similar. In fact, we could be mistaken for twins. We've got Darren there on line three. Hi, Darren. Uh, is it Susan Boyle? Susan Boyle? Are you crazy? Have you seen me? Let's bring in another caller. We've got Cyril on line five. Hi, Cyril. Who's it going to be? Meatloaf. No, no, now that is just rude. I don't know where you're getting these callers from. Can you cut them off, please? For God's sake, let me just tell you. And once I tell you, it'll be so obvious. I'm going to be dancing a share. And my question for you, how many shares numbers do you think I would put over best? On line seven, it's Darren. Hi, Darren. Uh, which one? I think you do a really nice I got you, babe. No, no, that's not going to work for me at all. That's much too hippie-ish. And, you know, if you've got it, you might as well flaunt it. Not, not I got you, babe. Who's this? Is this Angela on line three? Hi, Ange. Well, you definitely shouldn't do Turn Back Time. Did you say Turn Back Time? Hang on, I'm not familiar with that one. Let's have a look. Oh. Ooh. Wow, that costume is fabulous. It's all that I am. It's all that I've ever wanted to be. That is me, personified to a T. Brilliant idea. No, no, I said you definitely... Nice talking to you, caller. Lovely listeners, come Saturday night. You are in for a treat. <laughs> genuinely can't believe that these next words are about to come out of my mouth. Dancing to turn back time, it's the very brave Vanessa Feltz!
How was that for you? I'd like to apologise to my family, my friends, society. Oh no. my God! Oh! You have nothing to apologise for, does she, Arlene? Absolutely not. I will never forget that image of you arriving from the sky like a weapon of dance instruction, and then you proceed to give all those sailors a lesson in dance. Vanessa, it was just brilliant, and how? <laughs> Thank you, Arlene. Greg, I just, I, I, I'm kind of, I've got to give you a hug. I've got to, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was amazing. Yeah. I feel like, I feel like that was what was missing from my life up to this point. Yeah, I'll make you some chicken soup any time you want, someone. Well, I'll tell you what, I, I can't promise glitter explosions, but you can sit on my can whenever you Thank like. Thank you that very is, much. That <laughs> was, yeah. Lima? Amazing. Um, I wish I could turn back time. <laughs> um, no, I, I genuinely, I've seen some brilliant dancers in my time, Ginger Rogers, Fred Astaire, Gene Kelly, but that was something else. <laughs> I genuinely was impressed. Well done, Vanessa Phelps. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Brian. Alex, what's going on at F&F? &F? Uh, indeed, well done, Vanessa Phelps. And I'm here with a very proud family, Ben, her partner, and Allegra and Saskia, her daughters. Now, Ben, she has nothing to apologise for, does she? Nothing at all, sweetheart. You were absolutely great. She was great, wasn't she? <laughs> and as long as she can keep that outfit, I'll be a very happy man. <laughs> OK, too much information. Uh, <laughs> now, I knew that your mum was really, really nervous before this performance. But, you know, Allegra, how, do you, how, how was she at home in preparation towards the night? Was she, was she really nervous this morning? Uh, she has been really nervous. She just wanted to do everyone proud and raise loads of money for comic relief. But we're absolutely so proud of you, mum. Magnificent. <laughs> Well, she did that in spades. OK, Steve, quickly tell people how people can vote at home. So, if you want to see that routine again, and why wouldn't you? Oh, definitely do. Then just vote for Vanessa Once. to do it all over again don't. in the final. Call 09011 98 10 05. Or go to bbc.co.uk <laughs> forward slash Resnodes Day uh, to register. Uh, we'll open the vote very shortly. But for now, let's hear it for the wonderful Vanessa Phelps. Thank you very much. Thank you. Those dances will live in my memory and heart forever and ever. Still to come, performances from Nicole Scherzinger and Justin Bieber. Plus, we'll reveal our winner, and that's going to... Why would you do that? Because the phone lines are now open! Oh, that's such a good one. You lot be careful 
still doing that. You, bit you, dangerous. You just it? be careful. Yeah. Okay. So now you can have your say. Pick up your phones and log on to the website to vote for your favourite to win. But this is the BBC, not some tin pot dictatorship. No. Nope. When we do voting, we do it properly. There are terms and there are conditions, often at the very same time. And here with them are past Let's Dance finalists, Danny Harmer and Tyler Drew Honey. Take a look. Hello, I'm Tiger, and you'll remember Danny and I from Let's Dance 2012. Well, actually, Tiger, I've been on Strictly since then, so... Uh, yeah, but I mean, I'm in an award-winning, groundbreaking sitcom called Outnumbered. Have you heard of that? Well, I played, you know, CBC's most loved character of all time. Um, yeah, but I've also done over 200 voiceovers for TV and radio, so listen to this. To vote for the winner of Let's Dance, calls cost 10p from BT Landlines. Other networks may vary, and calls from mobiles will cost considerably more. Or alternatively, you can vote online for free at bbc.co.uk forward slash Red Nose Day, where you'll also find full terms and conditions. But please make sure you get the bill payers' permission before you call. The vote, vote closes, closes in approximately 15 minutes! <gasps> We went too big, didn't we? Uh, yeah, I think we might have done. I think they're after our jobs. Yeah. Get off the clock, Mark. They've probably got a good chance, actually. <laughs> yeah. Now's your chance to give one act a pass straight into the grand final. I don't know if that's an act of kindness or cruelty, but it's happening either way. Yes, it's a tough choice. So to help you make it, we've put together this very handy pocket-sized guide to this evening's dances. For Ore and Sonali, vote online or call 09011 981. For Jody Prenger, vote online or call 09011 981002. But Nina Conti, vote online or call 09011 981003. For Lee Nelson, vote online or call 09011 981004. For Vanessa Phelps, vote online or call 09011 981005. They're all so brave. Tough choice you've got. Um, now, so far this series, we've seen two incredibly moving films from One Direction in Africa. In this report, Louis and Niall meet up with two boys, Idris and Sully, who go to extreme lengths just to stay alive. We're in a slum in Africa, exploring an enormous rubbish tip. Everywhere you look, there are kids scavenging through the rubbish. Sully. Sully. I'm Yuli. Idris. 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 Sully is 15, Idris is 12, and this is their job. You know, they find wires, they burn the wires, they get copper out of that, they sell the copper and make from 70 pence a day up to £3 at the most. No one deserves this. This is absolutely horrendous. There is literally, you name it, it's in here, from human feces. The syringes, you know, and it's just swamp. Atrice is walking around in a pair of flip-flops. He's got massive cuts on his feet. Sule has got burns on his hands. It's absolutely ridiculous. What, what are your aspirations? What do you dream to do? They want to get an education. Can you He wants to be a doctor. Can you he wants to be a teacher. Teacher. 
in a place that makes us full of despair. From these two boys comes only hope. You're so uh, incredibly brave and hardworking for such such young boys. It's uh, <clears throat> it's remarkable, really. With your help, kids like Idris and Sully don't have to live like this. Comic Relief are helping kids all over Africa to get an education and a chance of a better future. Idris and Sully would give anything to have the opportunity to learn. And why shouldn't they? So please, please text YES to 7005 and donate and make a difference. Very sobering to see that, isn't it? But donating is as easy as sending a text message. Just text YES to 7005 and you'll have donated £5 to Comic Relief. OK, time for tonight's first music performance. It's from a lady who fills stadiums, performs for thousands and sells millions of records. It's just a shame she's hideous to look at. Disgusting. <laughs> it's a, a world exclusive for Let's Dance with her latest single, Boomerang. It's Nicole Scherzinger. <laughs>
delicious stuff. So I hope you guys are voting at home because our brave dancers certainly deserve your loyalty. They've worked so hard, they deserve a break. So please, join me as I enter the bar Time Out magazine are calling the festering stink hall. Shenanigans! She used to be the landlady. Hey, what's Cash Martini? No, what are you doing? Well, I'm doing do my work behind the bar. I just said you used to be the landlady. Yeah. Once you go out front, that's it. There's no going back. You're oh. a turn. You're oh. a star. I just... Get out oh. of there. Oh, OK. Jodie Prench and everybody. Ooh. A star. Ooh. The question is, though, <laughs> is there anybody here who's glamorous enough to step into Jodie Prench's shoes? Anybody? Hey. Oh, hi. What's up? I'll give it a go. Boing! Nicole Scherzinger, everybody! The new landlady! Off you go! Get behind there! Um, have you ever been a landlady before? No. Well, you know, it's not just pulling pints and, and you know, glamorising scotch eggs. OK, yeah, I can pull pints. Yeah, but there's more to it than that. Um, duties, for instance, include uh, cleaning the hellscape that is shenanigans toilets. Can no, you do that? I can pull pints. Well, let's, uh, let's start with the pints and then work up to cleaning the toilets. Is that cool? OK. OK. Um, you've been working quite a lot recently for Comic Relief. Yeah. Red Nose Day, what's going on? Tell me more. Yeah, uh, Wembley. I'm yes. so excited with Russell Brand. You're working with Russell Brand up at Wembley? Yep, doing a show there in a few days for Comic Relief. Have a big performance going on. OK, can't wait to see that. But the, the actual reality is you're not a pop star at the moment. You're the landlady of shenanigans. Oh. And there's barrels down in the basement and the knee changing. So can you go do that, please? Oh, OK. Just do it, Nicole. Just okay. do it. Thank you very much. Where's Lee Nelson? Where's my boy? Yes. Hey, what's happening? Yes. I'm so glad you came. What's going on? What's happening? There are five minutes left to vote. <laughs> so glamorous. OK, thank you, Nicole. Five minutes left to vote. As I was saying, uh, you've come back, and I'm so glad to see you. You brought the boys with you. You brought the big guns. Thanks for doing the show, guys. This obviously means a lot to you. I mean, you're back. It's your second time here. You want to win this? Well, no, man. I'm just comic relief, innit? Yeah, but, I mean, you're sitting here beneath the champions, you know, a, a list there. I mean, what yeah. would it mean to you to be under Roland Riveron? Uh, I've wanted to be under a few people. Roland Riveron ain't wanted them, to be honest with you. Well, you'd be the champion of 2013. Oh, then that will be a buzz. You know, I like that. She Rufus Hand dressed as Cheryl. I'll take that. Well, we'll see. Best of luck. Good luck, everybody. Thanks for coming, guys. Got to speak to Jody. Jody, hey. you did it, kid. I did you it. went out there. You, you, you were amazing. Was it all right? What was it like to realise a dream? I loved it. But what do you think? Do you know what? I felt like like another Darcy Bustle. It was amazing. No, I actually really loved it. I really had such a good one. I'm just glad my cod piece didn't drop off. That was all. Me too. I know I mean, both of us. You, you've dreamt of this moment for almost three weeks now. Steve, I really have. It's every minute of every day and I have lived it. Thank you. You did it, kid. Thank you. There it is. Oh. You did it. Well done. Uh, guys, really quick, I hear a rumour that you injured yourself. You, yeah. You're the brave lady who almost didn't make it onto the show. Because I had to pretend that I was in love with Ore, my neck went into spasm in defence. You had a spasm neck? Yeah, yes. she spasmed. Yeah, so I thought I'd have to pull out and then, yeah, it was big dramas. How did you despasm the neck? Physio, physio, and just, you know, trying to get into character. So I hope I pulled it off trying to be in love with this Steve, guy. you smashed it. You must know just what it's like when a girl spasms just on looking at you. So, um... Stop it. Stop it, you flatterer. Good luck later on. Well done, guys. Alex, heroes, every single one of them. Back to you up front. Yes, indeed they are. And I love that Nicole Scherzinger is trying to juggle red noses in the background. Now, what have Right Said Fred, Cliff Richard and Bananarama got in common? Well, they're the only three albums Steve plays in his car. And they've all recorded comic relief singles, so we asked tonight's acts to choose their favourite sing-along moments. 25 years of Red Nose Day, monkey. No kidding. Surely they've raised enough money by that. Red Nose Day is totally famous for its songs. <laughs> <laughs> My favourite memory? 97, Spice Girls versus the Sugar Loves. Showing the trick of North and make it who do you think you are? Oh my gosh, I was like in love with the Spice Girls at the time. If you were a Spice Girl, who would you be? Definitely scary. They are incredible. 
2011, all of us in love with at least one member of Take That. And then along comes Fake That. Gary English, uh, James Corden. That guy can dance. I mean, he's got it. Mark was Alan Carr. David Williams was Howard. John Bishop as Robbie Williams. And Catherine Tate as the scrawny one. When the musical artist comes together with a comic act, you've got Red Nose Day magic. Magic. That's what we want. Peter Kay, garlic bread, and his Amarillo. Is this the way to Amarillo? <laughs> all these people just kept coming along, all these horrors from the 70s. If there's a more irritating song out there, I don't know about it. <laughs> what a way to kill a perfectly good song, Stone Dead. My favourite memory was when Ronnie Corbett was on the treadmill and he just went totally off it. He seemed to suddenly disappear from view. I don't know if it was an assassin. That was it, I was floored. I couldn't hear the rest of the song because I was laughing. There have been 16 comic release singles. Guess how many got to number one? Three, four, ten! Ten! And what's really great is that One Direction's Red Nose Day single has already reached number one, making it the fastest selling song of the year. To give you money right now, people, is for charity. We are another. Yeah. yeah, well done to One Direction again. I'm still laughing, though, at Ronnie Corbett falling off the treadmill. Now, the comedy and the money are two sides of the same story, so please keep texting your donations. Details are on the screen right now. All right, Steve, what's the mood like in shenanigans? Alex, the mood in shenanigans is the same as it always is. It reeks of glamour and exclusivity. Um, our bouncer, Mental Mick, just turned away one Sue Pollard. So if your names are on the list, you're not coming in. You made yourself at home. USA! 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 USA. Seriously? <laughs> Clean the toilets, Nick. Oh. <laughs> I tell you what. This little monkey knows how to gear crash. Oh, yeah, he, he does. He was yeah, all I over do. the place. Are you happy with that? Yeah, I, I'm happy with that. Yeah, it was, uh, I kind of wanted him to be there. It's weird for me, because she's going to What? No! Voting lines are now done, so you can stop voting. OK, it was a bit, it was a bit verbose, but it was, it was nice. Thank you, Nick. Can I pet him? Yes, touch me all you like. Thank you. Do you know, it's a strange show I work on. I, I get to interview a fox and a monkey. Yeah, I know. Who do you like more? I like this monkey because he's ah. in front of me. I have a special treat for you, by the way, if you're, you're up for it. Yes. Well, you, know, you don't know what it no, is, but I'm a bit take a look at now. this. Take a look at that monitor over there. Well, Nina, when you were five, you <laughs> went to ballet class, like many little girls. And at the end of the term, they said you were royal ballet material. <laughs> uh, we told you, and you said, no, I want to stop. We said, why? You said, because it's pretentious. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the wonderful Tom Conti, Nina Conti's dad. That's going to be nice. Yeah, it's very nice. Thanks, Dad. I remember that. Yeah, he's such a legend. Yeah. Uh, and congrats on the performance. Good luck later Thank on. Thank you very much. Uh, Vanessa. Yes, sir. Got to come speak to you. And I have to ask, I, I still can't work out whether you loved or hated your performance. I feel exactly the same. I don't know. Either it was absolutely exquisite or it was the most hellish moment of my life. <laughs> I'm going to need my family and friends, if they're still my family and friends, to tell me which. Where's a message from my father? I have a father. Norman the Nicker King in the underwear business. What's wrong with him? <laughs> he's probably hiding somewhere at the moment. <laughs> Dad, are you still my father? I don't know if he'll ever speak to me again. <laughs> of course, it's a fantastic performance, and <laughs> congratulations you. and good luck for the final. Thank you. Um, what? Right, let's talk about last week's karaoke. Um, Rosemary and Kim, as you know, performed. Uh, a lot of people were saying it's the worst thing to ever happen in the history of the world. <laughs> it wasn't that bad. It was close, but it wasn't that bad. So, this week, um, I said I would sing a song. Would anybody like to... <laughs> You like that? Yes! I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to sing on my own, though. Um, is there anybody here who would sing with me? Is there any... I will sing with you, Steve. Oh, my God, I love you. Yes. It's happening. This is happening. Oh. OK. Uh, I three, two, one, hit it. Who knows <laughs> what tomorrow brings in a world
Honestly. Anyway, your donations to Comic Relief uh, don't just go towards helping people in Africa. A large part of the money also stays right here in the UK to help projects at home. The money you donate tonight is helping vulnerable people facing poverty, discrimination and disadvantage to turn their lives around. And did you know that 40% of all the money Comic Relief raises gets spent right here in the UK? Here's just a few ways in which your money is helping to make a real and lasting change. Helping people who have nowhere to live. This is definitely the most social thing I do all week. And I know there's a lot of people in the choir who this is the only communal moment. And, and it is for me as well most of the time. Using sport to make positive changes. They love this sport. The coming and the friendship, teaches yeah. respect, teaches yeah. me fit. And rather than sit at home on the TVs or hang around the streets where it's not doing them any good, is it? Yeah, it's great for them. Helping people and their families deal with addiction. Before I went here, I used to be an alcoholic. And they've really, really changed my life. They've changed me and they've changed everything that I used to do. And supporting young carers. Well, we do different sorts of activities and um, overnight stays. And it's really good. I enjoy coming here. It gives us a break. But the thing is, we simply cannot carry out our crucial work in the UK without your help. Please text YES to 7005 to donate £5 and I promise you, it will make a difference. Yes, as Steve said, pick up the phone right now and text the word YES to 7005. Text costs £5 plus your standard network message charge and the whole £5 goes to Comic Relief. You must be 16 or over and please ask a bill pays permission for full terms and conditions and more information. Go to bbc.co.uk forward slash red nose day. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> now the results of your vote are coming up very shortly. But whilst we wait, we have a real treat, oh, don't we? Oh yeah. yeah. Now millions of people around the world would literally give anything to be here in this studio. No, not because Vanessa Fels is dressed as Cher. Speak for yourself. Although, that's reason enough. Yes. Yes. It's all because of our next star. He's the face on every bedroom wall and every bedroom in the world, including my own, I must admit. It's the wonderful Justin Bieber. <laughs> Beautiful, beautiful, you should know it. You're beautiful, beautiful, you should know it. I think it's time, think it's time that you show it. You're beautiful, beautiful, for for you. Well, baby, what you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Why you acting so shy? Holding back, holding back when not the only ones doing it like that, like that. So DJ, bring that, bring that, bring that, bring that back. All around the world, world. people want to be loved. Yeah. Oh, all around the world, world. they're no different than us. Uh, 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 yeah. You're crazy girl, crazy girl, don't control it Well light it up, light it up, so explosive Well baby girl, baby girl, 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 yeah Well baby, what you doing? Where you at? Where you at? Why you acting so shy? Holding back, holding back when not the only ones doing it like that Like that, so DJ, bring that, bring that, bring that, bring that back It's all around the world People want to be loved. Mm -hmm. 
Cause all the world the world They're no different than us Yeah Nicely done, sir. Yeah. Now, these cards hold the results of tonight's vote. They are the free passes straight into a world of wonderment and dreams. Next week's Let's Dance final. These are the golden tickets, and I am Willy Wonka. <laughs> what he's trying to say is the results are in. Yeah. That. So, five perform tonight, but only two can make it to next Saturday's final. But which two will it be? Boom, boom, boom. Let me hear say hey ho. Hey ho. Nice. <laughs> Please welcome our celebrity dancers back to the stage. <laughs> Oray and Shadali. <laughs> Vanessa Phelps. <laughs> Jody Pranger. <laughs> Lee Nelson. <laughs> and Nina Conte. Looking like Azerbaijan's next Eurovision entry. <laughs> so the two acts with the fewest votes will be asked to leave the stage to burn their lycra and step away from the leg warmers. But the acts with the highest number of public votes will have a guaranteed place in the final. Acts, are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. Audience, are you ready? Yeah. Nicole Scherzinger, are you ready? Yeah. yeah, I'm ready. Get on with it. Yeah, all right, here we go. All right. Here we go, in no particular order. The first act to leave the competition is... Ore and Sonali! What? That does not make any sense. The second act to leave Let's Dance is... Nina Conti! Play Monk! It was Monk! Oh. So, Ore Sonali and Nina, we'd like to give you the opportunity to leave the competition with dignity, but unfortunately, that is not an option. <laughs> so, if you'd like to just go, please, that would be great. Sorry! Just get out. <laughs> Tony, T-Bone, cue the dramatic music, please. OK, three acts left. Only one of you is guaranteed a place in the final. The act with the most public votes and going straight through to the final is... Jodie Prenger! No! Congratulations, Jodie Prenger. You've done it. You'll be performing at the end of the show. Go get her. She's stunned. She is stunned. She's brilliant. So, just two acts remain. Lee, and she's probably gutted, Vanessa. <laughs> and uh, you are the runners-up. So one of you will join Jodie in the final on the 9th of March. The panel will now have the deciding vote. But to help you make that all-important decision, here's a little recap of how they danced.
you will be joining Jody in the final next week, but who will it be? Thank the Lord, it's not my decision. Let's go to our judging panel. Let's start with Lee Mack. Well, it's a very important thing we're deciding that could change Absolutely. the face of the planet. Absolutely. Uh, Lee was brilliant. Uh, Vanessa was so good, I thought I was watching Cher. In fact, I would go as far as to say it was Cher and Cher alike. <laughs> Yes. Saturday night, give me a break. He <laughs> went that far. <laughs> so, if I have to give one of them my vote, it's a tight thing, but I'm going to go with Lee. Lee! Who's <laughs> Lee Nelson, 1 0. Greg, we're coming to new, you next. You could make or break Vanessa's heart now. There's so much going through my head right now. There's so much. I bet there is. I, <laughs> I know. I know how popular Lee's dance was in here and at home, obviously. Uh, I, but I just can't stop thinking about you, Vanessa Phelps. <laughs> I'm just trying to think about the one I want to see again. This is the thing. Remember, there's no personal viewings. You can only watch her on this show. No, I mean, unless you want to come around and just do the dance. It's not alone. No, she doesn't want to. I've got a cannon. Um, <laughs> I'm going to go with Vanessa Phelps. It's yes! going down to the wire. Wow, this never happens apart from last week and the week before. You oh, are in. asking me to choose between channeling the 80s, sexy strut, and a future contender for the Royal Ballet. Impossible. <laughs> yeah, but you're the only popper judge, so we have to ask you. You're the only one qualified. <laughs> Oh, I, it's so hard. Can't I just have them both, please? Nope. No. 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 Oh, I love Vanessa. She knows I love her. Oh, Is that wow. the, the toilet? <laughs> I'm just edgy. <laughs> Got to go. And my edge is edging for with me. Next week, Vanessa Fells, Commiserations. You did wonderful work. But I'm afraid it's over. Off you go. Lee, we'll see you next week. Thank you, Vanessa. She seems really happy with that. I think she's relieved. <laughs> so that's it. We have our last two finalists. Next week, Jodie and Lee will join Tim Vine, the soap stars, Catherine Ryan and Anthony Cotton in the Let's Dance 2013 Grand Final. It promises to be a night of unparalleled dance intensity. Yeah, literally, if you miss it, the earth will fall off its axis and career into the sun. So I would watch it if I was you. Yeah, you should probably watch then. And don't forget <laughs> to keep on donating, please. OK, now, to dance us out, it's your winner, the wonderful Jordi Prenger.